of Tokyo. It's Tokyo, baby. No, it's gonna be easy to me. I got a bankroll. Shooters doing what I say, so cause they on payroll. I got all purple on my shoes, I look like Saints Row. If I let you take my flick, you better catch my angle. No, it's gonna be easy to me. I got a bankroll. Yo, what's up, guys? I'm back again with another video, and today we are going to get straight into the video. We're going to talk about is Marin actually a powerful fruit in Grand Prix Online? So, if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if new, and let's get straight into the video. So, first, I'd like to mention how Mara's evolution went through. Mara was a devil fruit that really started really good in Grand Prix Online, but then when it came to update 2, the fruit was actually getting worse and worse. For me, I think it was always good. It's just it was just the way you gotta have to use it. Um, but slowly we are seeing in update 3.5 how the fruit is getting better and better and better slowly every time. So yeah, I feel like this fruit has a lot of potential. Now let me just add a few more points. What I like to mention how most Mary users with their combos that they're doing for update 3.5 are pretty insane. If y'all checked out my last video, the Zishui vs Mara video, you'll see that I pretty much got clapped by a Mara user. And all the combos that he, and the combo that he used wasn't even the most cheese combo. One of the most cheese combos and I can actually list out right now is a combo where you do the M1 jump firefly. If they have the right amount of stat points, guys, I'm telling you, that combo can do around 300 to 400 damage. That basic combo that requires lit lit to none brain cells, you know? All you're doing is switching from the sword or your weapon to the double fruit. So yeah, that's that's pretty OP, you may say. But <laughs> there's more. It still does a lot of damage and Mara really is pretty much like a powerhouse fruit. It's always been a powerhouse realm fruit. It's always been powerful this way. People just talk down a lot about it because they just didn't like how like oh how this move worked, how this move worked. I remember back then in update two, or I think it was yeah, it was update two when Fogu announced that Mero was getting a nerf. A lot of people were saying, Oh, Mero's gonna be the worst fool in Grand Peace Online, it's not even gonna be fair. And then we're update three and now it's one of the best. In terms of in terms of it being like of like if I had a ranking on uh, which is the best, Mara is definitely up there. But for me, I'm personally still experimenting because I feel like there's a lot of flaws and there's probably another fruit that is probably better. My opinion is going to be a little off topic for the video, but if I also include something, I'll have to mention Pika. And now Pika, let me tell y'all something about Pika. Pika requires no brain cells. It requires no brain cells. The basic Pika combo is the Jedi ones and Pika kick. If you somehow can't do that combo, then I'm sorry, you're probably just trash at Grand Prix Online. Because that's probably one of the most easiest combos to do. And, less, and Pika's block breaker is probably one of the most bl broken block breakers in the game. We had another broken block breaker, um, the Quake Quake Fruit. The whole fruit's a block breaker, so like, I'm not gonna mention that, but we all know that's busted. But yeah, Pika, if I was to give it like the tier list, Pika would definitely be my number one spot. And Mero would definitely be right there. Because when it comes to Mero, bro, it really isn't that hard to use it. A lot of people complain that the fruit's hard to use, which I'm not gonna lie, it kinda seems like excuses because you can do so many combos, so many other things with Mero if you have the correct stats. There's a lot of Mero users that I fought with, some were good, some were bad, but I feel like it comes in terms of how you're using the fruit. Of course, if you're using the fruit bad, and not as full potential, you're gonna do bad in PvP matches, and you're probably not even gonna be able to shift farm correctly because you don't know how to use it correctly. Okay? But yeah, that's pretty much. I'll also like to mention how, in terms of Maris' strength, it does a lot of damage. And as you guys see from the clip right now, I am fighting a Mara user, which I think I ended up losing this match. I sold completely. But he actually didn't even use the cheese's combo. He was mostly doing them once and relying on fire pillars. But as you see, from one move of fire pillar, my HP is dropping. Plus, due to the fact that he has fire burn damage, it's pretty OP. This guy's stats, I can tell that he's trying to balance it out so he isn't trying to be that toxic. But at the same time, I can definitely see if he changed his stats into the right, the correct stats for Mera, which I do not know. But. There is definitely YouTube videos out there that can tell you what are the best stats for Mara. 
So yeah, if you have the best set, if you have good stats for the fruit, trust me, guarantee you are going to win every single PvP match. If you're doing wagers though, you're gonna win. If you're doing arena, you're gonna win. If you're just fighting with friends, you're gonna win. It's it's that plain simple. So right now, I don't know if Foy is gonna nerf it. To be honest with you, I think Delphoots have enough nerfs. Um, everything's pretty much balanced in the game right now, so I don't really think anything anything needs a nerf. Um, like I said, the Mera combo is really OP, and I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. This probably is a potential of it getting nerfed. And now hear me out on this. I said a potential because I'm not a tester, and I'm not, I don't have like any like special leaks to know oh this is getting nerfed. So I'm not gonna give you guys that false info. I'm just saying there is a possibility of it being nerfed because a lot a lot of people in the community have complained about this combo and how it does so much damage and you might think it might not do a lot of damage but like I mentioned earlier I said it does around 300 to 400 damage I never include burn damage burn damage on top of that especially if you're fruitless or you don't have a load gear if you're gonna take all that damage um for me I have the armor on and even with the armor, I'm kind of struggling with the burn damage because sometimes it, lo it, it can like low-key knock you. So you got to be careful. And you got to make sure you're blocking all the like the fireball moves or the fireflies. As you just see, look. 11 burn damage. Burn damage is about to slow me now. You see that? Absolutely dead. It's that, it's that simple. GG to that guy though. But yeah, I like to mention how like a lot of people want this route to be nerfed. And personally, I feel like Mera is just balanced, bro. Not all Mera users can do the same thing that other Mera users are doing. If that makes sense. Everyone's going to use the Devil Fruit different. So when it comes in terms of if it should get, if it should get nerfed or if it shouldn't get nerfed, I think it shouldn't get nerfed. It's balanced pretty much. You just gotta use the combo correctly. If you can't use the combo correctly, then that just seems like a problem that you have to figure out how to fix it. So yeah, I'd also like to mention out other Devil Fruits. When it comes to like fighting a Mera user, actually, first of all, when it comes to fighting a Mera user, what I'll recommend to everyone is that you're blocking. You're blocking, because what you want to do is take, you want to ta take in the least amount of burn damage. I'm telling you guys, burn damage can sell you and you won't even think about it. It can sell you. What I get, the problem that I have when fighting Mera users is that I love letting go of blocks. because I don't like holding on the F button like how other people play the reason why I don't like doing that is because th then they call me like an F spammer or stuff like that so I just try to like use it for a reasonable amount of time you know and with the sudden and with the changes that GPO have made with the blog button you really can't like spam F if that makes sense and stuff like that so that's what I recommend just make sure you're blocking make sure you're like you're seeing the moves before it happens and what I mean by that is that if you see them on a user move either one backup or two block you can't probably tank high that fast if you can then yes the alt <laughs> the alt the alt I recommend it to everyone get Rokushiki especially if you are not a Logi user get Rokushiki alts are painful especially if you are in arena because then where are you gonna escape there's probably I think I think you can probably go to like that little door area right there and like you can go under it and the ult will hit you but it depends on how they're aiming the ult so because once they do it like if they were off on the side and you went there i don't think they're going to be able to hit you unless for well, you nerfed it so yeah and yeah that's pretty much going to be it, it for the video um in terms of this video like a good good big summary i'll just like to mention that shout out to all my mary uses bro this you guys legit harnessed your fruit into becoming a good fruit once again even though a lot of people kept saying and insisting this fruit's gonna be the worst devil fruit. I remember seeing Discord servers saying that and stuff like that. So yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it. If you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if new. And guys, please rate the intro down below. It took me a while to edit. I, I say it probably took me two weeks on top of having school practice and all that stuff. So yeah, see ya.